welcome again from my, uh, to my YouTube channel. The previous video, we had learned how to handle specimen on uh, surgical suite. Today, we are going to learn out on a general handling of specimen for general health workers. Most of the time, we have patients or we have people come from home. Somebody feels unwell, then he comes to the hospital. Then how do we get to care for this patient? How do we get to care for this person? So when this person comes to the hospital, he gets registered and he gets to see a clinician. So how does the clinician come to know how he's going to help this patient? So the first thing, the patient will come to the hospital, register, visit a clinician. The clinician will take history and physical exam on this patient. And then, how do this patient get help? How do this patient, how do the clinician get to the diagnosis of this patient? There are a number of specimens that maybe this clinician will order so that it will guide the management of this patient, so that it will also help the clinician to know what the problem of the patient is. Somebody will walk in with an headache. How would you know that this patient has malaria? Somebody will walk in with a stomach ache. How would you know that this patient has stomach issues? Somebody would walk in with pains all over the body. How will a clinician help this patient? So, we're just going to learn about few lab diagnostics that clinicians normally order to help the management of the patient generally wherever you are. To help come up with a diagnosis of patient, you need to do some tests. And how do we do this test? So, we have sample bottles. So these sample bottles are color coded. And for all healthcare providers and whoever attending to the patient, the reason I'm sharing this is that we want to give a holistic healthcare and we want to give a holistic uh, outcome depending on the diagnosis that we are going to get from the patients we are handling. So, for us to get the right result, we have to do our sample according to the laid down guidelines. And what will give us a, a good outcome is when we do the right thing at the right time and the right way. So, if a specimen especially blood samples are taken from the patients. We have specimen bottles that are color coded. So, number one, if you do a good color code, you will get good result and the right result and the patient will get good treatment. If you miss the good sample bottle, you will get wrong results and you will treat, you will treat a wrong diagnosis. As you can see from my table here, on demonstration, I have a sample bottle that is red, we have purple, green, blue, and orange. So, you need to be specific on what you are ordering and whatever sample bottle that should be used, should be used on the right way so that, as I've explained, <coughs> you get the right lab work, you get the right results, then you, the patient will get the right treatment. So most of the time, you can walk into a facility and then you say, you are not helped. Why? Sometimes there's misdiagnosis because maybe a sample has been put in a wrong bottle. Then you get a, a wrong result, then you get a wrong treatment. So for all healthcare providers, I would urge, when you are seeing a patient, however busy you are, let us try to ensure that whatever diagnostic uh, procedures we are doing, uh, we adhere to the laid down standards and guidelines so that the patients that are walking into our facilities will get good results, good treatment, and good diagnosis. And uh, if we continue practicing uh, what is entailed to us so that we give the right care to the patient, I hope our patient will get the best out of us. And uh, that's how we handle the specimen. So, for my advice to all healthcare providers, 
if you are to do a sample, let's talk to our patients, let's explain to them what we are doing, and let's ensure that whatever we are doing are right so that we get good results. So that's all I have to share about sampling and uh, handling of the samples. Thank you. So I urge all the viewers, all the healthcare providers, even the people at the public domain, if you like this discussion, please share and subscribe. You're welcome.